Hey everybody, Don here. How's it going? Well, just want to make a short update on one how D9. <laughs> As you can see, it's printing right now. I'm printing the uh, Captain America shield. But uh, as you can see, I'm not printing on glass. I'm printing on blue tape. And there's the old magnetic bed underneath it. Because, um, uh, I can't believe it. You can't believe it. Wait a minute, I gotta get that thing back out and show you something. The black cable is hanging down on the side. It's unplugged. The gray cable is back in just to make sure that I have the correct connections. And then I had to go and uh, do a complete new update again. Get it back up to the 1.64 B in Delta. And uh, put the old splitter board on. Put the old sensor back on. Connect that back up. Re-level the bed. That was not easy. Um, and uh, well, here, that's the mount for the BL Touch. There's the black cable going up to the splitter board. But um, stupid thing is. This BL touch, yeah. I don't know. When one how was doing the programming, they didn't make the correct programming for the auto bed leveling to compensate that the BL touch is sitting about two centimeters behind the normal uh, sensor because this plug right here, when it comes down comes down behind the bed and uh, email with Manolo from one how oh man you won't believe it like, you know what that guy told me well uh, Don can you just move the bed back a little bit so that the BL touch comes down and hits the bed yeah you know that's uh harder done than said because when the BL touch comes down when it comes down on the last position right here yeah it goes back automatically and goes down and that's all within I'd say about two seconds and in and in these two seconds you can't stop the bed You can't hit pause and then move the bed back or something like that, you know? And I uh, think he was more or less wanting me to push the bed under force back. And that's not possible either. So, what did I do today? Because I want to get that thing up and print and get the stuff done for that young lady next door. I mean, she paid for the filament, so I have to deliver. But, uh, I mean, I gotta get that stuff up and running, you know? And I sent an email back to Manolo telling him, no, that's not possible. And I sent a copy of that to Gary Chen, sales manager. The guy who sent me this one how last year. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be going. To, it's going to be interesting to see when I get an email because that was the day before yesterday when I sent the email, and I did not receive any email yesterday, and I did not receive an email today. So. Well, let's just wait and see uh, if they're making a new program 
or make a complete new update, let's say like that, or what's going on? Either that or else I'll need a glass plate that's 325 by 350 so that there's enough glass on the back side so that when it comes down it'll hit the glass plate there. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think it'd be a good idea if I contact Mama Robot and tell him, hey, I had a, I was almost ready to make a review and testing on your plate, but your plate is too short. you got to send me a plate that's longer. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be happy with that. But uh, anyway... Just to let y'all know, but that's going to be one heck of a print. Oh man. I almost say I'm using more, more support than the product that is coming out. But that support is needed when that thing comes up because that thing is coming up and at an angle like my finger here at a 40 degree angle and because the base is so small it's, I have two support pylons that are going to be coming up here and then that's the normal support that they, that uh, S3D generated and that support doesn't look excellent that's a lot of support that's going to be coming up But the main thing is, is that the product comes out good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, until next time, everybody, y'all take care. Happy printing. And bye for now.